Yes, man, it really is me. Me, soon, AKA the instant burner. Man, in YouTube today, I got y'all with my first lesson of NBA 2K25 in burner. Hold on, let me put on the glasses. In burner nomics. I'm gonna be helping you guys with your jump shot woes. Uh, today we're gonna be giving you, I'm gonna be giving you guys a starter jump shot. And I'm gonna be giving you guys pretty much a tutorial on how to make your own jump shot. I know that sounds kind of cliche, but in this video, we're gonna be giving you guys releases, bases, all that stuff to make sure to get you on point to making a jump shot that fits your play style and fits the way that you wanna release the ball, just to make it easier for you on the park in the wreck so you don't go through these shooting woes on uh, NBA 2K25. Before we get started, man, I did spend a lot of time finding all this stuff for you guys. So it'd be greatly appreciated if you guys could at least hit the like for me, you know? Um, and, and see, if you want a part two to this, get this video to 200 likes and I will definitely give you guys a part two. But starting off, first things first, you gotta know when you're, when you're making a jump shot, and you're practicing in the my court, which we're going to be practicing in right here. You got to know that your timing is going to be different. You know, the time, the latency, you know, the latency is definitely different um, in the park. And it's even more different in Proving Ground. Proving Ground is not the same timing as the park. So you definitely got to keep that in mind. Uh, you might even have to make another jump shot for Proving Ground if you guys are playing that mode uh and the second thing you know your lag you know if you're somebody that has bad internet or something like that um or you're playing on wi-fi um i would suggest um if your router's across the room downstairs anything like that i would suggest for you guys to try to get something called um a power line i know some of you guys might have uh wi-fi extenders but power lines are better than wi-fi extenders pretty much what you would do you would put the one box will go on the back of your playstation or pc and the other box would go right by the um your router so and it will send out a signal and it's damn near just as good as ethernet it's the next big thing is being hardwired in so and they're not expensive maybe 40 dollars if you got some money and you're serious about gaming you should definitely consider that uh if you're really trying to hit some shots this year because we know that green window is pretty small man it's pretty tough out here to shoot for most people um so with that out the way first we're going to talk about your jump shot and first thing is your base you got to find something that looks good to you you know at this point it's not no best base it's what's gonna look good to you me personally i like smooth let me go ahead and go into the jump shot creator um me personally oh yeah i'll go ahead and show you how the jump shot too this is the little starter jump shot that i'm gonna give you guys before we get started just in case you got to get out of here um you got something to do but you want to stick around for the whole video because i'm gonna give giving you guys a lot of nuggets in this video again please hit the like man that's all i ask from you guys uh but this is the little starter jump shot that you guys can put on if you can meet these requirements i will be dropping other videos in the future man so again you want to subscribe and all that stuff and if you don't want to wait i do have you can uh be a member of the channel where i update weekly with, with jump shots tips so you never miss out on that so you don't have to wait for me to drop the videos uh but that's a little starter jump shot right here um but like i said what you guys want to do you see cry dresser oscar robinson uh l shooter just in case you can't see that we got with a 4951 blend but um like I said, the first thing you guys want to do, you want to find something that looks good to you. Like I said, I like to find jumpers. This is YouTube. I like to find jumpers that look smooth, a base that looks smooth. So in my opinion, uh, the smoothest bases, I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to go in depth with this. I'm going to make another video uh, with all the bases, all the releases, but I'm going to give you guys a little bit of taste of that. Uh, my opinion, uh, the Clyde Drexler is smooth. Um, what's another one that's smooth? Uh, Will Barton. It's smooth. You see, it's up and down. So up and down movement. You see how smooth that is. Uh, let me show y'all the Clyde Drexler. Um, I don't like any because a lot of these jump shots they got like a hiccup. You know, y'all you, get what I'm saying? Like when you shoot, it's not like smooth going up. It's like a like go up like a one movement, bro. And it's, it don't feel good to me. You know, so maybe I, that's my old eyes and I and it, I'm, I'm tripping, but they just don't feel good. But let me show y'all Clyde Drexler too. Um, I wish they gave us pages on here instead of having to scroll all the way down. Um, Clyde Drexler. Look how smooth Clyde Drexler is. It's an up and down movement. You know what I'm saying? Good up and down movement. And another good one is MPJ. Uh, let me find his. 
and Michael Porter Jr., which has all A's. So we're just gonna go with Michael Porter right now. So we're just gonna put that on. You see how smooth that is? Look how smooth, up and down, no, no hiccups or nothing like that. So we're gonna go with that jumper. The next thing you guys wanna do, you wanna figure out where do you wanna release the ball at? We all got different cues. Uh, do you want your green to be like at your neck face? I mean, not your neck, but a little more at your neck face? Or do you want it to be at the top of your head? Or do you want it to be on behind your head? Where do you want your release to be? Um, if you guys want it in your face, neck area, some good releases are going to be, I know y'all are going to laugh when I show y'all this. A good release is LD2K. I do have a jumper with LD2K coming soon, bro. I'm telling y'all. And also, I forgot, when you're making your jumper, if you want to see where something is out, you want to go ahead and max this out, just, just swing it, swing it one way so you can see exactly where the jumper releases at. So, like I said, we're going to put, we're going to put LD2K on. Like I said, I'm going to show you guys the ones that come at your face, uh, big paws, <laughs> and come at your neck. So, we're going to show you LD2Ks first. Uh, so, let me go ahead and get down here. So LD2K is a good one if you like if you like that where you're timing. You see how it comes at its face. Um, so you got LD2K. Um, you also have somebody like what's another one? Um, Lamella Ball. Lamella Ball is also a good one. I should just stayed at the top, bro. Why did I just go all the way and do that when I could have just worked my way down, bro? But uh, let me show y'all Lamella Ball. Lamella Ball. Y'all know his come his is at the face too. If you like the release shows right there. Another one is. Booker. Uh, let me see if I can find Devin Booker. Devin Booker. Devin Booker is also a great one. So if you like your jumpers right there, me personally, I don't. I like mine at the top of the head. You can use that. If you like yours at the top of the head, some great ones are going to be um, uh, Sadiq Bay. Sadiq Bay is a good one. Top of the head, you see? Top of the head right there. Another one, which is one of my favorites on the game right now, is, um, let me see if I can find it. It's a Paul George. Let me see if I can show y'all that one also. Um, Paul George. Paul George, which has all A's. Top of the head. Easy to time. Um, and you also got, man, Mr. R.I.P. to my boy, man, Kobe, Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant is also a great one at the top of the head. If you guys are into that, let me see if I can find where you got Kobe. Kobe right here, top of the head. Um, if you like above the head, you can never go wrong in my opinion. Um, and I like using above the head jump shots because in any jump shot that I use, uh, just because it can help raise the jump shot so if you wanted one of these at your face jump shots you want it just a little bit higher i would pick a jump shot that comes above the head so in my opinion the best one is you know your, your oscar robinson which most people use you blend it towards oscar robinson to raise it up so oscar robinson is number one you also have your um where's the other one at you also have your larry um your larry birds you can use Larry Bird also. You see how it comes behind the head. You use Larry Bird. Um, you can use, let me go to Robinson so y'all can see that one. Um, just trying to give you guys choices so you can pick how you want your jump shot, you know what I'm saying, to, to your liking. Um, but let me show y'all Robertson, Mr. Robertson, one of the best releases on the game. Mr. Robinson, above the head, you see it, above the head. And another one that a lot of people sleep on is L Shooter. L Shooter is a, is a is a sleeper. L Shooter. Behind the head. Behind the head. So, what we're going to go with right here. Um, let me pick two random ones. We're going to go with a... Most people use Sadiq Bay. So, we're going to go with something like... We're going to go with a Paul George. We're going to go with a Paul George and Oscar Robinson, Robinson um, release. So, let's pick that one. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how you need to blend it and all that also. So we're going to be doing everything in this video, man, to help you guys. So you know exactly when you get a slightly early, slightly late, which way to, do you need that you need to click it, all that type stuff. So uh, let me go ahead and go to Paul George. So we're going to put Paul George on the jumper. So <clears throat> we're going to do it like that. Put the release speed up. It's an A. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys. When you're picking a base, let me go back to... Oh I, oh, I messed my base up. I wonder why my, my jump shot was so slow. Y'all didn't tell me I had on LD2K base, man. I did not want to put on LD2K base. Nah, not doing that. But uh, we're going to put on that Michael Porter Jr. Um, but timing stability. Timing stability is very important in this game. If you guys don't know what timing stability is, it pretty much means how much your timing is going to fluctuate depending on your stamina. 
you know so if, as your stamina de depletes your jump shot is not gonna be if you have a low grade a cd your jump shot is not gonna be in the same spot it just isn't so if i was you guys i'd try to get at least a b b or a when it comes to timing stability if i were you guys because you don't want to be going around here and you got half because you got a c or a d you got half stamina and now when it comes to shooting that ball it's not at the top of your head anywhere anymore where you want it to be now it's at the back of your head because of the timing stability when your energy depletes you got to hold it longer so you're gonna have to figure out that spot too if you have a bad timing stability uh this was a b plus so it's not gonna change too too much depending on my energy you know so it's gonna change a little bit but not too much so it shouldn't be too noticeable uh with this jump shot so we're gonna go with that i'm also gonna blend this um we're gonna blend this we're gonna try to get it i don't want to make this video too too long so i'm not gonna blend it too crazy to try to figure out where i want to go i'm just gonna try to go above the head somewhere somewhere in there so it should be like at the top of the head hopefully um then we're gonna just change it around so we're gonna go with this one as of right oh we're gonna go with this one I, I like to put right here we also got your visual cue your visual cue is where you want to release the ball at. i like to put mine closer to push to release and just tick it depending on where i like my release at so me i like to go around there so we're gonna go right here especially if i got an a plus jump shot it's it's really fast you're gonna be going in my opinion going towards release because jump shot is just gonna be too fast um so we're gonna start right here and we're gonna see exactly where our release is to see where we need to where i need to click it at i want to release it at the top of my head that's what i'm gonna that's what i'm gonna uh aim for so we're gonna equip it that's what i'm gonna name for and like i said i know the latency is different in here you just want to look at your animation you just try to get your animation down in my court not your timing not your feel you don't go off feel in my court do not go off feel you go off your visual cues so we're gonna see if i got that right so it's slightly early i'm getting me i wanted the top of my head let's see if i can shoot another one still slightly early so if you get slightly early early to the left late to the right so just like in in real time early is to the left late to the right so we want to push this jumper actually to the left we're going to want to push it to the left on the visual cue if we want to get it at the top of our head right here so let me go ahead and go in here we're gonna and this like i said this that this is kind of time consuming but hey man it'll be definitely worth it if you guys are making your jump shot you really got to put in work on this game shout out to 2k for that man you really got to put in work on everything every part of your game on this game and what i like to do i like to do two three ticks I, I like to go three ticks and just go from there so we did three ticks to the left since we were slightly early so let's go ahead and go back in here and it should already say that let's, let's see if that's where we needed at see that three ticks is all we needed or maybe it didn't sometimes that first shot and i gotta tell you guys something else jump shots on the corners like in here in here and over here are usually a little bit faster for some reason than up here so you got to keep that in mind so let's shoot it right here let's see what we have still green still green you, you see what i'm saying you just gotta play around with it. we ended up getting it right the first time which is crazy uh and what i would like to do if you guys want to really figure out what the timing is on your jump shot shoot the ball when you're tired if you shoot the ball when you're tired you can find out where all your release points are we're gonna shoot it not too tired just a little tired right here and we're gonna shoot it still green you know what i'm saying because i got a high timing stability on this jump shot so it's not gonna fluctuate too too much on the jump shot so I hope this ended up helping you guys out with your jumper problem, man. I hope you guys ended up uh, finding something great, man. Y'all let me know in the comment section what jumpers that you guys came up with. You see, I'm just greening out here, bro. I'm greening crazy right now. So you guys let me know in the comment section what jumpers that y'all cooked up in here. Uh, like I said, I hope this guy this helped you guys out as I end up missing that one right there. Also, subscribe for more great tips. I'm going to be keeping you guys all year long on your jump shot woes. And y'all already know who it is. Burn up. Burn up.